Hello everybody watching from around the world. My name is Melanie Fowley and I am one of the 2021 finalists of the Face of Woha. So here's the thing. I was brought up to believe that I could be anything I wanted to be. I was brought up to believe that I had equal rights to any other person in this world. I was brought to believe that I could achieve all my dreams. I was brought to believe that I had equal opportunities. And I'm really thankful to my parents for having brought me up this way. But you know as life goes by you realize that your reality might not be somebody else's reality. And I soon realized that however much empowered I felt, there were so many girls and women individuals out there who were not feeling empowered they were feeling disempowered because of external circumstances struggles education background just by being born in a certain place and even myself even though i grew up feeling completely empowered and knowing that the world could be equal because that was the reality i was seeing around me i did feel disempowered many many times throughout my life but i think we can actually empower people and feel empowered all the time if we find the right support because feeling empowered is that it's exactly that it's a feeling it's a state of being and sometimes something or somebody takes our power away and we feel totally disempowered but what if we had a network we had the tools the resources to tap back tap into that power again and feel empowered as often as possible all the time ideally so they say it's going to take 100 years to achieve full equality now i don't know about you but i'm not willing to wait 100 years okay <laughs> I want to see full equality in my lifetime. I want my nieces to see full equality in their lifetime. And we all know that depending on where you're from, depending on your circumstances, you might be at different stages when it comes to empowerment. But here's the thing, because the world is global, we can bridge the gap. We can share what we know we can share the tools the resources we can share everything we know so that people who are feeling the at a different stage of empowerment can accelerate that pace of change and that's what i want to share with you today i want to ask you are you willing to accelerate the pace of change here is my idea of doing it I want us to build a chain of empowerment. You know, in a chain, every link has its purpose. Every link is supporting the previous one and the next one, and they all make sense within a chain. They're all supporting. They all have their place. They're all different maybe, but they are all as important as the next link. So let me show you something. Imagine this link is my friend Jimena. Jimena is empowering women in Peru and she's becoming part of a chain of empowerment. Now, let me show you this other link. This link is Lisette, my friend from Mexico who is empowering girls, giving them access to high quality education and empowerment. And this very specially today, this is my friend Farouk. She's in Afghanistan and she's been for years and years empowering women, empowering girls and giving them access to education when they didn't have that opportunity. And today especially I want to mention her because she's going through really hard times. So see, we're all at different stages when it comes to empowerment, but what we need to do is we need to stand together. We need to support each other so that we can create change faster. So link by link by link this is what we're creating a chain of empowerment where every link might look different might have different realities but when we come together and we build a chain of connection collaboration empathy education understanding 
sharing ideas, sharing intelligence, sharing resources and tools, we can advance that pace of change. We can help women and girls who are feeling totally disempowered today to advance many, many steps at once and not have to wait a hundred years to see changes. You see, I've been privileged to be born where I was born. I live in a country where we have equal rights. Of course, there's a lot to do, and that's why my mission is to empower women. But I can't compare my reality that is somewhat easy to the reality of girls and women. And let me mention again Afghanistan today, where they might have lost all their rights just like this. So what if we accelerated the pace of change? What if we helped those sisters advance faster? Because we have already done it. We can avoid so many steps. We can help them advance a lot, a lot faster. So this is the reason for building a chain of empowerment, strong, collaborative, sisterhood made up of links who care about each other, who uplift, who support, who share a strong chain that will advance the pace of chain. So I'm asking you here today, are you going to be the next link in our chain of empowerment?